what happens after death? Do we go to heaven once we die? Many believe that upon death, the soul sends to heaven. But within the Bible, there is no mention of man dying and going into heaven. Matter of fact, there are scriptures that say the contrary. Genesis 3, verse 19. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. Acts 2, verse 29. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch Dawid, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulcher is with us unto this day. Acts chapter 2, verse 34 through 35. For Dawid is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith himself, Elohim said unto my Adonai, Sit thou on my right hand, until I make thy foes thy footstool. All these scriptures speak of the dead being buried upon death, and not ascending into heaven. What about John 3.16? John chapter 3, verse 16. For Yahweh so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Well, if you go up three verses, it says, John chapter 3, verse 13. And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven, so if the Bible says we don't go to heaven, what happens? What about everlasting life mentioned in John 3.16? The everlasting life mentioned in John 3.16 refers to the first resurrection. Revelations 20 verses 1 through 6 And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be let loose a little season. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yeshua, and for the word of Elohim and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had they received his mark upon their foreheads or their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection, on which the second death hath no power. But they shall be priests of Elohim and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. This is the first resurrection and judgment. The millennial kingdom we're saying is bound for a thousand years, and there is peace on earth. Revelations 5 verses 8 through 10. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden veils full of odors, which are the prayer of saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, and to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain, and has redeemed us to Elohim, by thy blood, out of every kindred, and tongue, and people, and nation, and has made us unto our Elohim, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Here it is being said how the elders and beasts, which are already in heaven, shall reign on earth during the millennial kingdom, not in heaven. Revelations 21 verses 1 through 3 And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from Elohim out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of Elohim is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and Elohim himself shall be with them, and be their Elohim. Notice, the kingdom is coming from heaven, and men are not ascending up into the kingdom of heaven. 
While going into heaven after death is not mentioned in the Bible, the resurrection is spoken of multiple times. John 11, 23 and 24. Yeshua said unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. John chapter 5, verse 25 through 29. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of Elohim, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, and hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. Notice how it mentions that in the end days men shall come out of the graves for judgment. It does not mention them going into heaven, or those men coming or being called from heaven. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 20 through 22. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the firstfruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. All these speak of men being risen up again from death unto resurrection, which is what people of Yeshua's time understood. None of them believed that men went into heaven upon death. Even within the famous scripture of the Valley of Dry Bones, it details the resurrection of the children of Israel. Ezekiel 37, 7-13 So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinew and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith Yahweh Elohim, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried, and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy, saying unto them, Thus saith Yahweh Elohim, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves, and cause you to come up out of your graves, and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh, when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves. What about the sinful? What happens to them? After the millennial kingdom, Satan will be loosed for a little season to wage war and will be defeated and thrown in the lake of fire. The dead who are not a part of the millennial kingdom will be judged, and those not found in the book of life will be thrown in the lake of fire. This is the second resurrection and judgment. Revelations 20, verses 10 through 15. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heavens fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before Elohim, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. What about the devil? Isn't he in hell? As of right now, 
There is no hell, and the devil has not been cast into such a place yet. Satan has free reign to go and come between heaven and earth as he pleases until he is thrown out of heaven. Job chapter 1, verses 6 through 7. Now there was a day when the sons of Elohim came to present themselves before Yahweh, and Satan came also among them. And Yahweh said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered Yahweh, and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it? This scripture in Job speaks of Satan actually being in heaven before Yahweh, not in the depths of hell. Revelation 12, 7-9 through 9. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. This speaks of the prophecy of Satan being thrown out of heaven. Notice that this is prophetic and hasn't occurred yet. Whenever it speaks of hell in the Bible, it is translated from the Greek word, edis, which, when used in the Bible, means the grave and death, not the lake of fire. In conclusion, upon death, men ascend neither into heaven or descend into hell, but are laid to sleep until either the first or second resurrection. That's the true life after death.